Hey guys, we're going to in this video and talk about why the Nexus 5 sucks. So, uh, usually uh, in this video, uh, I will talk about the disadvantages of this device. And so, first of all, I'm going to start off with the very basic thing that uh, the basic problem that is with the with all the Nexus devices out there is that the Nexus devices don't have a micro SD slot option so uh, which is you know a annoying thing because you know Samsung is providing us handsets with uh, ability to take off the uh, back cover so that's that's the thing that most of the most of the manufacturers out there don't providing us so uh, you know every device has a has its limits you know there are all there's some problems in every device that you don't like so uh, if they give a micro SD slot option in an excess device then you know everyone will gonna buy an excess device but of course Google is not uh, doing it they're just sticking with that and of course it means that uh, whether we see Nexus 6 or 7 uh, next year it doesn't matter because you know uh, the specs uh, will be good they were the specs will be the latest one but of course there will be no micro SD slot options in any of the Nexus device which is totally sucks so and the next thing that sucks on the Nexus 5 is the on-screen buttons you know uh, I'm not a big fan of on-screen buttons of course I am rooted and I know ways how to hide these buttons but of course for noob or newbies uh, out there who don't know about rooting or stuff like that uh, if you are playing games like you know Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or other games like Mortal Kombat 4 if you're playing games what will happen you know you accidentally touch this uh, here and just you just quit okay so like this uh, okay okay if I'm playing this game so what will happen you will oh this happens okay uh, I, I spent a lot of time playing GTS areas on this device testing out things and stuff like that and I always get this trouble here which is pretty the annoying and yes these are the two things that are mostly hated by me and also the next thing I wanna talk about here is camera okay so yeah it's an optical image stabilization camera it's great blah 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 but you know why this camera sucks is that uh, you know LG G2 can record a video at 60 frames per second and also Note 3 can record a video at 4K and also you know they are capable of recording videos at 120 frames per second slow-mo videos but you know this device has no options like that it is sucks you know and uh, you know if I go into the video mode here as you can see it is the 1080p video recording and it is not you know anything special about it my phone 5 has same uh, 10p video recording but you know uh, these are the things that I want that I don't like about this device is they should have put a 60 frame per second mode and a 4k video recording mode uh, you know that's why uh, the Nexus 5 has not some of the uh, features that are only available to some phones like the Note 3 so this totally sucks so these are the three things that sucks about the galaxy uh, about the Google Nexus 5 and also uh, but of course at the same time the price is low about this phone but you know if they if Google really wants to dominate they should have um, you know make a phone complete phone a complete package uh, you know by make by giving us all those specs that they don't give us like the micro SD slot option so yeah and the other thing that I want to talk about is the optimization so there are not much optimized games for the Nexus 5 you know if you run GT San Andreas on max settings it will lag like hell on your Nexus 5 I don't know why and of course uh, this is uh, the main thing that is 
problem the main problem with the Android device is that most of the games out there that that are releasing on the Android are not optimized for most of the handsets out there you know and also uh, if you install Grand Theft Auto San Andreas you can check out the options of this game by default they have set low as the options because they think that this device can handle low graphics and this device can't handle a max setting GT San Andreas why because you know they are retarded they are the developers don't pay attention to Android devices they are just you know making games optimization for iOS so which is the big deal here and also for the Nexus 5 they are not optimizing the games very well and yeah you can play a game on low settings if you if you if you try playing game on max settings it will give you like 15 frames per second in my case so so these these are some of the problems some of the things that I really hate about this device here the Nexus 5 so uh, it doesn't mean that I don't like this device uh, it's a pretty good phone actually don't you know get angry with it but you know I'm just explaining you some of the things that others are giving us while the Nexus 5 is still behind so yeah that's it guys I will make a video of why the Nexus 5 is awesome you know where I will talk about its good things not the bad things so yeah thanks for watching and like this video if you agree with me and I will see you in my next video peace out